Hi, my name is Ken, and my wife and I, Judy, we're the directors of Little Chapel Food Pantry in Divide, Colorado. Uh, we've been uh, the directors for about over 10 years now. Uh, we started uh, as a kind of as a volunteer here in the food pantry, and uh, people that run it at that time uh, got so busy that they no longer could uh, run the food pantry, and they asked us if we would like to take over, and which we did and we found out that was one of the ministries that we'd absolutely fell in love with. So we've uh, just continued to do that and, and watch God make, have this ministry grow. A lot of our food comes from local um, areas, uh, local businesses in the area. Uh, we get food from uh, Karen Share in Colorado Springs. I think last distribution we brought up about 18,000 pounds. Walmart distributes, uh, I'm sorry, Walmart uh, donates to us. Uh, twice a week, Mondays and Fridays, we get on to pick up from them. And we get approximately 120 to 150,000 pounds a year from that organization. Uh, Loaf and Jug in, uh, in Woodland Park donates to us. And a lot of other organizations and churches uh, also donate to the food pantry, not just with food, but also with uh, finances. All the food that we pick up from these organizations do all go to the people, or their, our clients that come to the food pantry. We're serving approximately, oh, I would think about 250 to 300 uh, families per month. Uh, I mean, sorry, twice a month. We always distribute on the second and fourth Monday from 3.30 to 6.30. We really appreciate all of our volunteer help. Every distribution we have anywhere from 35 to 50 on upwards of 60 or 65 volunteers that come in and help. Uh, we start bringing our trucks up here about one o'clock in the afternoon. We need volunteers to unload those trucks and also start bagging the groceries for the distribution. And then a lot of the people stay around for the distribution from 3.30 to 6.30 and uh, um, uh, hand out the food to people. The people that come to help are, uh, it's amazing how many people and, and the different walks of life they're coming from. We have homeschoolers that come from Lake George. We have elderly people uh, that all, they're always here every single time. We want this ministry and we want the people and the clients to understand that that's where our hearts are, is for these people. We would like these people to know and to understand that we do love them and we're willing to uh, do anything we can to help these people get by. Ha, 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 ha.